Welcome back, fuckers. All right, today we're going to run through how to do or how to use the uh, AGM 65D, the IR Maverick, in the uh, the Way 10, uh, the 110, the A, the Way 10, the A10C tank killer. All right, so we're just going to quickly get a aircraft loadout going on here. So we're just going to take ourselves just this one here. So when you want to use the IR Mavs, they are called AGM 65D. You can carry them on. Uh, stations three and stations nine. That's your only station you carry on. Um, you've also got, if you go into air to ground, so you've got, you can take a single bomb, a single Maverick, DGHK, LK, DGH. Uh, the TGMs and the CADM, they're training, so make sure you go AGM, not the uh, CADM or the TGM. Training, CADM is practice, AGM is an actual live warhead. And down here you've got, uh, you can take one, you can take two, you can take three, and then the H are the IR, uh, sorry, the uh, the TV guided Maverick. So H's, if you wanna use those, the H version, you want to take them during the day because you won't be able to see anything at night time because they've actually got a TV sensor in them. Uh, and then quickly, quickly, so you've got the D, the D, version which is the smaller maverick you've got the g which is the larger warhead and then the h is the smaller version tv guided and the k is the larger version i'm not sure on the actual uh, explosive difference in terms of kilograms or pounds but um yeah the the g and the k are bigger warheads and then you've got the agm 65 l which is the laser map, which is also a big version. So you can only carry one of those. You can't carry three laser maps at a time. So we're just gonna get that loaded up. And uh, I will see you guys in the air in a second. We'll try and take some stuff out. All right, guys, we're in the jet now. So we're gonna turn on our targeting pod and a ground. We're gonna select our weapons, which is gonna be Button, go to CCIP, we're going to select Mavericks, uh, armed. We can come down here to our Mav page. All right, so now we're going to make our uh, Titan Pod a soy, and I know that we have got some targets just down here. So we're going to quickly zoom in here. All right, point track, and I'm gonna just active pause it so we don't get too close. All right, so I found a target on my targeting pod. All right, we found a tank there. Point track, I know it's 6.6 .6 miles from me, so we are in range to fire a Maverick, um, but at the moment our Maverick is still looking right up here. So that circle there, in amongst all that stuff, that's our Maverick seeker head, where the Maverick seeker head's looking. So, we are going to make our targeting pod speed because at the moment our steer point, which is our initial position, which is where we spawned in just behind ourselves there, all right, in the uh, the air start that we just jumped into. If I press uh, TMS, I oh, sorry, China hat forward long, it's going to slew my targeting pod from here back over my shoulder to the initial position because my steer point is speed, not the targeting pod. So I'm going to press TMS forward long. And now you can see it switches to TGP and I've got the tadpole on the actual um, the indicator for where the targeting pod's looking, the little diamond there. Now I'm gonna press China hat forward long and that's gonna slew our Maverick seeker head down to where our targeting pod's looking. I'm gonna press Cooley hat left long. I'm gonna press China hat forward short to zoom in. And then all you wanna do once once you're in range, so you've got a range indicator here, so 6.6 .6 mile. So it's about, depending, you're probably about seven, eight at most, if you get a good lock. From eight mile will be about the max range. So anywhere from eight and closer, you're gonna get this little uh, range indicator. So we're well within now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press active pause off. And then all I wanna do, so my Maverick's not locked up right now. So I'm gonna just press TMS up short with the Maverick seeker head as soy. Freeze it again there. So you can see the difference there. When it's locked, the crosshairs collapse onto the actual um, the target it was looking at, and you're ready to fire that Maverick. Okay, so make sure, just keep tapping TMS up short. TMS up short will go through 
or keep trying to acquire a lock. So once you're getting close to the range, just make sure your Maverick soy and just keep tapping TMS up short, TMS up short until the, the crosshairs collapse there. So if I move it back there, so that isn't unlocked, that's locked. Okay, unlocked, locked. So it's gotta look like that for you to fire the Maverick. Go ahead and unpause now, and we're gonna go ahead and rifle off a Maverick. Rifle. Warning, autopilot. And we'll just put ourselves in a little bit of a, a bank over here, so we can just watch our handiwork. Let's switch on the targeting pod here. Make our teapot a soy. Zoom out a touch so we can see what it's going to do. We should see our Maverick cruise on in. And take that guy out. There's a Maverick coming in. Boom. Shacktastic. So that is how you employ a single Maverick on a, uh, a ground target with the, uh, the IR map. So the IR maps are the green, green colored Mavericks. They've got the uh, opaque yellowy seeker head there, is what they're, uh, that's how you can tell you've got IR Mavs on board. And that's how you find a target and lock a target up using the targeting pod. So we'll go through now, we'll swing around and we're gonna use the Maverick itself to uh, find another target. So wait one, we'll get ourselves repositioned here and we'll try another one, see if we can take something else out just using the Maverick seeker head itself. Alrighty guys, so we're hooking around now you can see the target area where the smoke is down there. So again, this is our Maverick Seeker head here, this circle. So we've got our Maverick as soy. So we're just gonna get ourselves in a rough area. We will go to active pause here, just so I can talk you through what's gonna happen. Okay, so there is our Maverick Seeker head. All right, Maverick Seeker head is there. That little cross here, that is our gun cross for if we were to fire the, uh, the cannon, we can kind of fire a Maverick and use, still got our cannon range as well for the gal weight. Um, so we've got a Maverick as soy here. We're gonna slew it down, and we're gonna see what we can see here. So, as soon as you get the Maverick, when you got the Maverick as soy, as soon as it gets close enough to lock something up, it will automatically lock the target if it's in range. Okay, so let's try and get this guy here. There we go, so it snaps onto him straight away when using the Maverick Seeker head. If it doesn't for some reason, press TMS up short, and it should, uh, once you get within range, it should go for it and then just to if you're like no I don't want that one you just move your uh, TDC move your slew and it will um, unlock the target so we're gonna go ahead and rifle on that guy now so we just locked that fella up there with the Maverick seeker head itself rifle come off target and if we move oh, Make our targeting pod soy, slew over. We know that we went for that guy right there. That's who I shot at, I think. So we're just watching the targeting pod. Bam, shack. Ruin that guy's day as well. So that's the two ways you can use the uh, basic use of the IR Maverick. You can use the targeting pod, slew it. You can use the seek head itself. All right, and you can also, if you didn't have a targeting pod, for example, all right, so if we turn this off, last one, I promise. I promise. So we'll just hook back around here. So we'll use, I'll show you how to do it. You can slew your um, targeting pod, so your Maverick Seeker head off of your J-Hemix, our Scorpion j -Hemix there. So we're just gonna get ourselves Roughly there, let's put autopilot on. So let's zoom in, so I'm gonna press cool hat down, move our thing there. We're gonna press TMS up short, TMS up long, sorry. So now our speed is there. I'm gonna press Warning, autopilot. China hat forward long. It's gonna slew my Maverick to the spot that I just designated on the ground. All right, and then we just sweeten the deal here. There we go, and rifle. So it gets you in a rough area. 
using your targeting pod, uh, sorry, your J Hemix, it's not accurate as the, as accurate as the targeting pod, but it gets you in the rough area, and then you can slew your Maverick off of the uh, the IR seeker head itself, and do exactly what we just did there. So that's the uh, the three basic ways. There's another way you can do as well. You can make mark points and um, cycle between the mark points, but I'll do another video on that one. So we keep this one down to a acceptable time frame. Less jibber jabber, more blowing shit up. All right, guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button uh, and leave any comments if you've got any uh, ideas on anything else you want me to do or any other things I could have done better. Throw it in there because uh, we're always learning. So the way I do shit isn't the the be-all, end-all way to do stuff. 100% not. So, um, yeah, if there's something that I could have streamlined, let me know because I want to make it my a tenning as good as possible uh also if you haven't hit the subscribe button to the youtube video it'd be awesome if you did we've just cracked the 620 uh from last i checked 620 subscribers so thank you to everyone who has subscribed uh thank you to everyone who is enjoying the uh the liberation campaign as well that's pretty fun to do it just takes a lot of time that's the main thing i need like a good hour and a half solid uh, to get the sortie in and mate, not, not cut it too short. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for the subscribes. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can crack as close to, to the uh, thousand as we can by the end of the year. That'd be fucking amazing. And uh, lastly but not least, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday. Australian West Standard Time, 1300 for the military minded, 1 p.m. for the non. And uh, come in and say good day. If you've got any questions, you can ask live on stream and we'll do our best to answer anything you've got. All right, guys, catch you fuckers on the next one. Peace.